Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. What Ibo Edao said as Unam Dekano heads to Supreme Court. What Ibo Edao said as Unam Dekano heads to Supreme Court. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. Leaders of the Southeast Geopolitical Zone, under the ages of IECF, have berated the federal government over its failure to abide by the Court of Appeal judgment which freed the leader of the IPOB. They also called on the federal government to obey the court ruling and refuse and release the IPOB leader in the interest of peace and stability. In the Southeast, instead of allowing the case to reach the Supreme Court, Niger News reports that the chairman of IECF and former governor of Anambra State, Dr. Chukwe Mekalezeife, and its secretary, Prof. Charles Nwekiako, made his known in a statement on Friday. The IECF described the appeal court ruling which quashed all the remaining seven count charges against Kanwa's historic, courageous and patriotic, adding that the judgment confirms that the judiciary remains the last hope of the common man. The organization said, the federal government appeal against the court of appeal three man on animals judgment which discharged Mazi Unam Dekanu is capable of aggravating the security challenges and peace process initiatives in the Southeast. Preventing the conduct of 2023 general elections in the zone, as well as its ripple effect on the peace, unity, stability, and continued corporate existence of Nigeria. More worrisome is the media report that the courageous and patriotic three-member appeal court panel that gave the laudable and landmark judgment of discharging Unamdi Kanu was all transferred outside the FCT Labuja within four days of delivery the judgment, which quashed the remaining seven of the original 15 count charges of the federal government against him. Justice Bintalon Yakul of a federal high court, Abuja had earlier quashed and discharged him of eight of the 15 terrorism charges brought against him by the federal government. The October 13 federal high court on animals ruling on Unamdekanu which quashed all the remaining seven count charges against him was not only historic, courageous and patriotic, but also a naked confirmation that the judiciary remained the last hope of the common man, especially in Nigerians' current dispensation, where the executive arm of government is selective and rascal on what laws to obey and the ones to disobey. We salute the courage and patriotism of this rare breed of justice that delivered an objective, popular and historic judgment on canon. As responsible, as responsible as
as responsible Ibo elders, who believe in the peace, unity, stability, and corporate existence of Nigeria, we appeal to the federal government to withdraw its appeal against the unanimous ruling of the three-man panel of the Court of Appeal and release our son, Khan was directed by the court. The elders observed that even if the federal government should appeal against the unanimous ruling of the Court of Appeal, it should first obey the ruling of its own court. They called on President Muhammad Buhari to release. Kano to them in honor of the memory of the first Republic Minister, the late Chief Mbazuli K. Amechi. The IECF said, The federal government insisted that ASU must obey the court first before its appeal case would be heard, and the latter ASU has complied. The federal government should obey the ruling of the Court of Appeal and release Kano for all the say of equity, justice, and fairness. Nigerians and the international community are living witnesses to a series of effort and visit of the Igbo leaders, including the high-level Oanese worldwide delegation, led by 94-year-old First Republic Minister Chief Mbazuli Amechi which had appealed to President Mohamed Buhari to explore the political solution and release Unamdekano to our elders. Chief Amechi had pleaded that Mr. President should release Mr. Kano to him as a special favor and bear the gift to him as an elder statesman. Mr. President refused and insisted that the judiciary should be allowed to land the matter. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop.